Oh, but real quick, I did forget to mention our first two C8 Corvette convertibles have been shipped. They'll be here any day. I know a lot of folks wanted to physically see a convertible in person right here at our store. So if you're in the area, they should be here any day. Oh, look at that. I guess that they're grabbing many, let's just say, new people to ship Corvette. He pulls this off and he goes, hey, are you guys getting any convertibles in yet? And I go, you're sitting in one. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Yeah. And he looks inside. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. I'm amazed at how fast this thing goes. It's pretty cool. Okay, you guys, I know a lot of people have already seen the Corvette convertible top operating on the C8 car. I wanted to show it to you guys now that we had one physically in our possession. This one, as we've talked about before, has the non-painted nacelles. It's the body color of the car where it tricks you a little bit. It actually mirrors as a coupe, because that's a hard top. I'm going to show you in different angles and how this top operates as far as going down and going up. I do appreciate you asking to see that. You gotta keep your finger on the button, which I'm doing now. And it actually moves faster, I think, than what we had in C7. Beep, let me know that I'm done. Now that looks cool. All right, guys, let's put it back up. And when you're doing so, you grab the button that's on the door just below the window switches and you pull up keep pulling up and holding it after the top's up, the windows will also go up to complete the process. It's pretty slick. Keep holding the button up. There we go. Right, so here's the buttons I was talking about. These, of course, are your window buttons, but right here is the convertible top button. You push down to put the top down, you pull up to put the top up. This button right here is for that rear glass that's within the convertible top. And with the top still up, you actually can independently put that window down. Now, it doesn't go all the way down. And the reason I believe that is, is you can see how this is sloped and it goes down. Well, you got to worry about water getting inside the car so that's as far as the window does go down but it does give you open air and good circulation even with the top up on your c8 corvette convertible I hope I can show these folks to you. Not everybody's into the YouTube channel. Russell, is it okay if I put you on the YouTube channel, sir? He says, sure. That's good. That's a good answer. <laughs> there he is, getting our first convertible. I'm so excited, and his wife's starting to hide. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, the guy's got a camera. We just come to pick up a car. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, it's good to see you, man. Congratulations. It's good to meet you. Russ is, uh, Russ is part of the Capital City Corvette Club here in Columbus, and he is getting our very first convertible delivery. Uh, we've got some neat stuff to show you guys as far as top operation and stuff like that, and more importantly, to show you the top operation. You're going to love it, how easy it is and just how gorgeous the car is, not only with the top up, but with that top down. That's pretty cool. When I called the other day to let him know that it actually was here because he's been watching the tracking page, and she goes, oh, hang on a second. He's out cutting the grass. I'll stop him. Hi, Rick. Hey, sorry to stop you from mowing the grass. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's not like I got lemonade sitting here waiting for you, but I do have a, a 2020 Corvette convertible waiting here for you. Well, I'll take that. Yeah, buddy. How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, got here uh, Got here mid-afternoon. Chuck started on the PDI. Should be done sometime tomorrow. Um, so I'm, I'm able to set up delivery for you because like we discussed yesterday, you don't have any accessories. So I'm thinking 2.30, 3 o'clock. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll make sure she's ready to go. Good, thanks. Yeah, you've done a great job of helping track that car. Thank you. So I Thank you very it, much. Uh, check it religiously. <laughs> Well, virtually every day, and uh, I knew pretty much what was going on. It was a long stretch sure. through there, but uh, once right. things really started to click, then all I had to do was look online, and you kept posted, and I knew what was happening. Thanks. I appreciate that very much. That's the whole idea, to have that tracking page. Unfortunately, right now, because of the, the pandemic delays and all this other stuff that's been going on, and now that they're in some kind of a flow, normally I'd have more information to share for you guys. So me being able to give you some estimate on ETA at least help you know alleviate some stress and pressure uh, but right now they're hiding like build weeks from us and even status codes until it's like right up on the build week so everyone's like hey I'm stuck at 3,000 I'm stuck at 3,000 all of a sudden bam it's a 3,300 and here's a build week and boom here's a car so that's kind of what's happening right now that'll change as things move forward but I'm just glad again yeah, it went very quickly once I hit 3300 yeah, that's exactly what's happening because it's right the rate right on it so yeah I'm just glad to be to this point man I'm happy for you so thanks for hanging in as I tell everybody for 2020 and that'll be a uh, pretty common conversation that we have but uh, it's true <laughs> It's really true. So we'll show you guys the spec that he got because everybody wants to know what did he get? You can see no wing, so it's a regular Stingray. Do you track your cars at all? Not at all. Not at all. I've never yeah. been on a track. Uh, I don't want a drag strip time or two, but that was 40, 50 years ago. Isn't it funny? <laughs> but isn't it funny though? Here, we're all looking at Corvette. We love Corvette. It's a performance car, and 95% of us don't drive it as such. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They, I read where 70% sure. of the people will order the Z51. Right. And 3% of those people will put it on the track. We'll go on track. So, yeah. and, and I'm all for them. I mean, if, yeah. if that's what you want, that's great. But yeah. I wanted the all season tires. Yes. I did not want the rear wing. Yeah. Primarily because I'm the guy that uh, they built that big trunk for to put their golf clubs in. Yeah, right. And yes, and they fit. To lift the clubs. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Lift them over the wing. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you're gonna love that. So, how many vets have you had? Uh, this will be the fourth. Okay. This will be the first one that's not red. Oh, okay. What are the other ones you've had? I had a '74, and I had a '69. The '69. I had restored uh, NCRS specs. That oh, was wow. a nice car. Red convertible, white top. Ooh. Red interior. Oh my gosh. And then the C5 I've had for the last 17, 18 years. That was 2002. Mm -hmm. uh, magnetic red convertible. Okay. Black top. Yeah. Nice, nice car. I, if I'd have had any more room, I'd try to keep it. Right, right. Uh, well, the future's here. It's right now for you, man. Yes. Thanks again for sharing the moment and sharing a little bit of your history and your uh, obvious passion for Corvette. So we'll uh, get you adequated with the car, we'll get you to pay for it, and then you can have it. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> and then we'll do a send-off, Pat. Okay. All right, buddy. Thank Thanks. Well, I'm glad I got the red belt. Yeah, that's a nice touch, isn't it? With your three package and the red stitching, yeah. That's... Those were kind of a question. I didn't know if I wanted a red belt or not, but uh, I like it. Oh, no. It just needed a little bit of a red touch in sure. the back. Sure. A hundred out of a hundred, I would say yes, get the red belts. Nice job on that. And I love the stitching. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? All the way through the steering wheel, even on the top here. 
when I was talking to Russell before he got in the car, he said, you know what I'm gonna do with this car that I haven't done a lot with my other Corvettes? He says, I'm gonna drive this one. Good for you. One of the reasons he went with a regular Stingray because they come with the all season tires. Perfect for us right here in Columbus. And we really, yeah, let me not jinx us, but we really don't get that bad of winters here in central Ohio. It just amazes me how this is kind of the best of both worlds. Looking like a coupe, you saw it with the top down. Very sexy, very fun. The new C8 mid-engine Corvette hardtop convertible. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, Rusty, right here in Ohio. Little send off, Pat. No wing, no rub, but a nice little wave, and you bet a thumbs up. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, yeah, big thumbs up there. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate you hanging in there. Thanks again for the business. Look at that thing, guys. Who said that? Work of art, I say. Work of art. We're all in agreement on that.